I was, and I was body positive then and I'm body positive now. But it's not my job to validate how people feel about their bodies. Ooh. So we all already know that Adele lost a ton of weight and the internet lost its mind. But I wanted to talk about it because her recent reaction with Oprah and honestly her reactions throughout her career, her reactions have always been so good that it has highlighted the insanity surrounding her body and our image obsessed culture. And in particular, in this instance, of course, with the body positive movement. Also, my plans have died a tragic death, so we have some stand-ins today. <laughs> But before we get into it, a big thank you to Cometeer for sponsoring today's video. I take pride in being a coffee snob. In fact, I currently drive about an hour away just to get good beans. So when Cometeer reached out, I warned them that we might not be able to work together because I had high standards and they have to meet them. <laughs> But when they sent me the product in the mail, I was very pleasantly surprised. Cometeer is barista quality coffee brewed better through science. Their pods contain perfectly brewed coffee that is flash frozen to lock in flavor and freshness in the first 100% recyclable capsule. So how does Cometeer coffee work? All you need to do is melt the pod, either by pouring hot water or milk on top, or by letting it melt in the fridge or on the counter like I have here. Just add liquid and you've got coffee. Add hot water for regular coffee, use milk and ice, and you've got an iced latte in minutes. You can make it however you like. The convenience is unmatched. That's one drawback to making good coffee most of the time. With the pour over, you have to stand there for five minutes, and with the French press, you have to wait for five minutes. But this, you can literally take it out of the freezer, boil hot water, and you have really good coffee. I highly recommend giving coffee to your try, whether you're a coffee snob like me or just looking for something to replace your $5 Starbucks run. Cometeer is definitely worth checking out. For a limited time, Cometeer has a special discount for fans of the channel. Right now you can get $20 off your first purchase by using my link below. That's 10 free capsules of coffee and always free shipping. Thanks again to Cometeer for partnering with me today. So let's start from the beginning with Adele. At just 18 years old, a British record label scouted and signed Adele from a demo uploaded to MySpace. And she was pretty much an instant success. Like whenever I've heard that saying, like overnight success, I was like, yeah, whatever, I got a proper, proper work for it. And it was overnight, literally overnight. Her very first album, 19, hit number one. It went double and triple platinum in Europe and the USA and ultimately net her two Grammy Awards. Adele. And today she's been named the best-selling artist of the last 100 years, with Hello, her most streamed song of all time, hitting just under 3 billion views. And I'm pretty sure she made $100 million just for that Oprah concert from the other day. Which, did you guys see that? Because, wow, my Adele fandom was taken to a new level. <laughs> And refreshingly, Adele has always been so talented that her insane success throughout her career really had nothing to do with her image or the way that she looked. I feel like she's someone who got to exist in the, that space and define herself solely as her art and her music and not via her body, which is incredibly rare in music and particularly in the pop genre in general. It's such a stark contrast to the other pop stars of the day who were pretty much equal parts sex symbols and singers. If we think like Rihanna, Katy Perry, with them it's like their image and their beauty and their body is kind of completely fused with who they are and what their brand is. Adele famously said in an interview with Rolling Stone, I don't make music for eyes, I make music for ears. She's like so sick, huh? Like, I don't know, like the things that she said, I don't, they just make me happy. <laughs> but no matter how many times she brought the focus back to the music, tabloids, magazines, and even other celebrities always managed to subtly or not so subtly take a jab at her weight. In 2012, it was leaked to the press that Anna Wintour was having fashion designers create custom size 14 dresses so that Adele could be on the cover of Vogue, which is just rude. Like obviously somebody went and told the tabloids that. In that same magazine, she was described as having a distinctly non-pussycat doll physique that she makes no apologies for. Other magazines called her cringy things like fearlessly full-figured and wrote an entire article titled, Adele doesn't care about being skinny. 
Karl Lagerfeld famously said of her, the thing at the moment is Adele, she's a little too fat, but she has a beautiful face and a divine voice. Rumors swirled that Adele canceled one of her tours because someone told her to lose weight, but she actually had laryngitis. She was compared to Fiona from Shrek for her green dress at the Grammys. And Joan Rivers took a few incredibly savage cracks. That and is... the other was I met Adele. You, you met Adele? Yeah. Oh, and she's she on wanted, the show? She wanted, oh yeah, a lovely woman. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, no, no, she's thin. Uh, can we just talk to each other here? I know being a jerk was like Joan Rivers thing, but the first time I saw that, I like gasped. I was like, how dare you? <laughs> it's so rude. You know, what, what is this song, uh, Rolling in the Deep? Yeah. She should add fried chicken. It is just... Yes, yeah, she sang live, and she was saying, my throat, my throat. I don't know if I can swallow. And I said, oh, yeah, you can swallow. There's no way. <laughs> These are the types of angles pushed by the mainstream media that mess with people's heads and create generations of insecure teenagers. When an article about someone as talented as Adele comes out with the headline, Adele doesn't care about being skinny, the subtext is that she should and that you should too. And they're not saying healthy, they are just referring to skinny. If 15 time Grammy award winning Adele cannot escape being reduced to the way that she looks, then who can? I don't agree with the body positive movement on most things, but I wholeheartedly agree with the fact that it's bullshit to continuously make the conversation, drag it back to someone's weight when it has nothing to do with what they're doing. Like this is not Tess Holiday partnering with Fabletics, going on the front of Cosmo and saying I'm healthy and then staging a bunch of workouts to prove that fat girls work out. This is a top tier professional, okay? That also happens to be overweight. Her body has absolutely nothing to do with her work and still the media could not resist. And through all of it, Adele was just so unbothered. For like 15 years of her career, she didn't care. And of course, why would she? She's fucking Adele. <laughs> she shouldn't care. And after reading like 30 articles on her, let me tell you, I don't usually care for celebrities or their culture or whatever, but Seriously, what a queen. She might be my favorite celebrity. Her responses were always just so poised and confident and she truly never gave a shit what anyone thinks about her. I've seen people where it rules their lives who want to be thinner or have bigger boobs and how it wears down on them. And I don't want that in my life. I have insecurities, of course, but I don't hang out with anyone who points them out to me. Did you ever feel pressure to, well, I gotta look a certain way? No, after. never. I've never seen magazine covers and seen music videos and been like, I need to look like that if I want to be a success. Never. I don't want to be some skinny mini with my tits out. I really don't want to do it. <laughs> um, and I don't want people confusing what it is that I'm about. I'm just writing love songs. I'm not trying to be pop. I'm not trying to be jazz. I'm not trying to be anything. I'm just writing love songs. And everyone loves a love song. Woo. She also once said she has always been a 14 to 16 and she's okay with it and she would only ever lose weight if it ended up affecting her sex life or her health. But of course, she did lose weight and a lot of it. And I know I look really, really different since you last saw me, but actually, because of all the COVID restrictions and the travel bans, I had to travel light and only bring half of me. And this is the half that I chose. <laughs> Adele's weight had clearly been gradually creeping downward for years, even before her dramatic emergence on Instagram and SNL. And she didn't just lose weight, she got a whole new look, okay? Her hair, ridiculously beautiful, it's so thick, and the color is so pretty, and the cut is so flowy, like she looks amazing. Her outfits, over the top nice, like just so put together, and she, like she just looks amazing. She looks like she got lip injections too, which, no shade, I also get lip injections. I just mean, she's clearly going for something here, you know? And I think her interview with Oprah, clearly she's been through some shit. It was just like, but I was really ignoring myself. And I remember there was a lyric that I wrote that I put on a song on, on 25, which was, I want to live and not just survive. Is this the divorce album? I think I'm divorcing myself on it. Yeah. Yeah. How I, does one do that? Whenever I noticed how I was feeling, I would, sit down and I'd sit in it. And also trying to like move forward, like a bit like with intention. I also read that that tattoo and those crazy Saturn earrings she had in the concert symbolized the year that she fell apart, picked herself 
back up together and decided what she wanted for herself and her life. Like this is her moment, this is her glow up, this is her choosing to live her life the way she wants to do it. And yet people had things like this to say. You look sadder. You don't look healthy. Jesus Christ, she is withering away. <laughs> the audacity. God damn it, you being fat is what made you Adele. I think we all love Adele a little more because she doesn't look like everyone else. Now she does. Not sure I feel the same way about her. Let's see if her music changes too. Adele will never be the same for me looking like this. Love your songs. <laughs> Okay, as if that makes it better. Okay, this next one really pisses me off. So that doesn't look like Adele and there's no way she will maintain that weight. Poor thing. Okay, I'm glad that the people in the comments like sorted her out on that one. <laughs> we really thought you'd break the stereotypes established regarding being fat and you yourself ended up being a skinny model. And this next one, which basically sums up the problem with the entire thing. Great Adele, though in a sense I can't help feeling a little sad as you were a role model of security and self-love for big girls and body positivity. There's so many more infuriating comments, I'll just leave them on the screen so you can read them if you want. <laughs> and while all these random comments were bad, I feel like the thought out and full page written takes by so-called journalists were the absolute worst. Even as I know that celebrating Adele's weight loss is wrong, I am struggling with something different, which is feeling a, a little upset about it. <laughs> what? It has nothing to do with you. Why would that make you feel bad? Adele was a hero for fat or otherwise non-thin people. She proved you could be successful at a larger size without that weight defining your personal narrative. And Adele clapped back at these type of comments in her Oprah interview. I'm not shocked or even phased by it because my body has been objectified my entire career. Mm. I'm either too big, I'm either too small, like, you know, I'm either hot or I'm either not, like, whatever. I never looked up to anyone because of their body. You know, I never admired anyone because they had the same hair colour as me or the same style as me or, you know, whatever. So or were the same weight as you? Never. Never, ever, ever. And we That's the thing. Do these people not hear themselves? Because choosing your role model based on their body weight and nothing else is insane. It is the definition of letting your weight define your personal narrative. Like the absolute definition. And that's the thing. People are now defining themselves by their body weight. They're making fat a character trait and they're, they're fusing it with their identity. Then they're making it their job to troll and police the way other people are relating to their own bodies, which is already difficult enough as the Adele situation proves under the ironic name of body positivity. This is one of my millions of issues with the body positive movement. They uphold the very thing that they claim to be fighting against. I was, and I was body positive then and I'm body positive now, but it's not my job to validate how people feel about their bodies. Ooh. And I feel bad that, you know, it's made anyone feel horrible about themselves. But I, that's not my job. And I, I can't, I'm trying to sort my own life out. You know, I can't <laughs> act. <laughs> the thing is, I feel like most people did not care at all about Adele's weight prior to this moment for her weight loss, including Adele herself. But the two extremes, the media on one hand and the body positive movement on the other, made it their business to make her weight an issue. Also, I want to say that losing weight is freaking hard and it does make you healthier in most instances. And we're innately impressed by people who have done something difficult. So when magazines print articles that say things like, Adele is a mega talent whose music is worth blasting on repeat, no matter the singer's size. Please stop treating this as an accomplishment. They're wrong. This is absolutely an accomplishment. Body weight shouldn't be so politicized that the objectively true fact that being fit is better for your health can't be discussed. We now have the full story. Adele's body weight is the result of the years of hard work she put into her mental and physical health. People always try to reduce a weight loss journey to just the beauty component of it, but I feel like most people who've lost a substantial amount of weight will tell you that that is just one tiny piece of the entire puzzle. It's, it's not the half of it. The whole thing, and I don't know, I guess why I found Adele's story so inspiring, especially when I saw the earrings and the tattoo, is like, it's a journey. It's a journey to find yourself. It's a journey to find what matters most to you and to find the patterns, the destructive patterns that are holding you back and messing with you and choose what you want and live by that. 
that, that's how I think of it anyway. So Self you together. weren't even starting out trying to lose weight? No, not at all. I wasn't bothered about that at all. But I definitely really contributed towards me getting my mind right. Like it gave me real purpose. In the best case scenario, the whole thing is a journey to find yourself and what you truly want to root out the behavioral patterns that have been messing with you and get rid of them, to eat healthier and to feel better because of all your hard work and ultimately self-love. But obviously it's not as simple as that either and the media are not just praising her because she's done this positive difficult thing. They're praising her because we judge people by the way that they look and Adele looks now more like the one body type that is most commonly portrayed as beautiful. But Adele is actually special not just for celebrities but humans in general. She seemed to genuinely not care and love herself at any size to an inspiring degree. Like it must be so difficult to sit in the public eye for that long with people saying rude stuff to you all the time. I saw people calling her the fat Amy Winehouse and still say, I don't care. Her weight loss was clearly not the result of societal pressure or desires to look a certain way, but truly just to get her mind right and live her best life. It was a byproduct of fixing her other stuff. She's literally self-actualizing the pinnacle of human achievement. And in a sea of everyone from both sides trying to define Adele by her body, she's rejecting it and always has been. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of Adele's clap back in the comments. I have so much respect for her after doing the research for this video. I genuinely love her so much and I'm generally pissed off when I see people being rude to her. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Ooh.